All right, so in this one, we're gonna be implementing a library called Django Page Down. This is emulating Stack Overflow's Markdown Editor. Um, it's really cool, actually, and the guys that did this or um, that put this together, they've done a great job, and I'm really, really excited to actually use this in our project because really it just adds a whole level of extensibility to our Markdown stuff, as well as it will allow a, a user that is not necessarily that familiar with Markdown just easily implement their own Markdown solution as well um, by adding kind of a rich text editor inside of there. Now it's not quite a what you see is what you get editor, but it's getting really, really close to that, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is what we're gonna implement now. And we're gonna do this by following, of course, their documentation on side of their actual project. And it's fairly straightforward. So we just do, we're gonna pip install Django page markdown. And then we are gonna add page down into installed apps. So let's open up our sublime text settings. And we're gonna to go to installed apps. And I put in page down. All right, so this is a third party library, of course. So we're not really going to change much of it. And then this is our local stuff here. Okay, so we've got that. And then finally, we just need to collect the static files. So we'll do that. And we'll do python manage.py collect static. Um, you can also put no input as it says, but I'm not gonna do that, it's not necessary. Um, so now I have the markdown stuff that I'll need, at least specifically for what I'm about to do. Um, so now that we have that, we can scroll down to our usage. There's several different ways on how we can use this. We can use it inside of our admin using model admin, which is not something I'm gonna cover, uh, not yet at least. And we can also use it inside of model form. So forms, that is something that we will do, but again, this is with admin. So that's a little bit different. That's using a model form inside of your admin, which you definitely can do. Um, and then what we're really gonna do is, is actually use the widget itself inside of any particular field. And I'm gonna show you how to use this widget also with another widget, just so you have a general idea of how widgets work. So I'm gonna go ahead and do python manage.py, run server, and we're gonna jump into our form. So inside of posts, app, forms, we're gonna change the publish form first, and we're gonna change it so it actually renders out a date field, so, so a way to select it. And we'll say publish equals to forms.date field, and we'll do widget equals to forms.select date widget. I save that, and we go back into our project. Let's make sure the server's running, it is. And I refresh in here and notice that I now have a publish date widget. And notice it's also in the future as well, which is which is something that you probably would want for you know a blog post. Cool, so that's how you use widgets. Now, if you wanna know more about widgets and how, what you can do in forms and all that, um, you definitely are gonna to wanna to check out our project on forms and form sets uh, because that goes into it in a lot more depth and step-by-step. Step. There's quite a lot that's covered here in Django forms and form sets. So again, that is definitely on our website and something if you wanna learn more about those things, definitely check that out. Anyways, let's go back to the blog and we now have this. So let's turn this into our newly implemented um, Django page down feature. So we're gonna jump into forms.py and we want to import this. So we'll do from page down dot widgets, import page down widget and make sure that's a capital P for page down widget. And we're gonna do content equals to forms.char field, and we'll do widget equals to page down widget. Okay, so we save that and we refresh in here and mm, doesn't look like anything changed. We got this HTML preview, that's kind of cool I guess, but really nothing actually changed. And that's because in our post form, we have to jump into that we need to add one more thing here. We actually need to add in the media that's related to it. That is the CSS stuff that is related to, CSS and JavaScript that's related to that specific widget. So that means inside of base.html, I am just gonna add a new thing in here and I'm gonna call it a new block. So I'll say block and head extra. So creating this block and we'll end that block just like that. So this is just extra content for inside of the head 
for the HTML. So back into our post form, we can use that block and we can use form.media. So form.media is something that's actually coming through with the widget itself. So looking back at the forms.py, this widget pushes this form.media through. Um, so if you had a field that conflicted with media, um, you might wanna change that field so this actually works. But anyways, we go back in here and now what we see is a live actual running of the content of how it's gonna be. So if I said, hello world, I can see that stuff and I can also just change things about it. So I make it bold, right? And it does the markdown for me, which is really nice. Um, I can write some block text like this and say, hi there. And then I can also add bullet points and say item two and then item three. And notice that it's rendering it in real time and, and, and approximately how it's gonna look once it's actually out there. And you can also add in images here too. So if you wanted, like in any sort of blog post would have, you would possibly have an image in here. Now in this case, you have an image that's using a link. So it's actually a link specifically to somewhere. So we just want to update it or put in a link for that image. So I'll just say beach and we're gonna search here and just do a quick search. Let's say Malibu beach and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this picture right here and copy that. URL, go back into our blog, and we're gonna paste that picture in. Notice that picture is now showing up, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that post. And now if we go back into our blog post, it's now showing us that. We've got our blog content, we've got all types of stuff. And actually it's repeating too many times, so let's go ahead and go back into our base.htm, or excuse me, our post detail, and get rid of all of those repetitions. Save that, and we refresh. And now it's one kind of clean blog post. Um, cool, so now what we wanna look at is the post list. Uh-oh, um, so if we look down at the post that we've been working on, which is new project, we see that it's actually showing us the markdown still, so we need to change that. And that's really easy to do as we just did with the deleting. If we go into post list where the content is, so for object and object list, we need to find the actual content. So object.content line breaks, um, all that, all we need to do here is ask, add that class that we set, which was content-markdown, back into post list, content markdown, and we're gonna get rid of line breaks. We'll keep truncate characters, and we refresh in here. Boom, now it's actually showing that again. And also, the old ones are not being ruined because it's still text. It didn't change. It just isn't rendered as markdown because well, it is rendered as markdown, but it just didn't change because the text is still text. Raw text is still raw text. And that's something that's really cool about this. Um, okay, cool. So that is it for Django page down. Now, if something changes in Django page down, um, please let us know as far as the support it has. But looking at this, this is something that's very kind of clean and clear on how you can actually implement a closer to what you see is what you get editor and we can also just use undo and redo and all that stuff. So things that you might want, a line break, you know, or an HR line, um, you can use a heading and all that. So um, there's, there's a lot of really cool features as far as that is concerned. Um, and if you need some line of code, you can also use that. So enter code here, or you can do a full block of code, um, which would be like defining a function and saying, oh yeah, hi there, or return yo. Well, we probably wouldn't want to call it function. We'd probably call it something else, um, but you can save that. And now you see that, hey, look, there's a regular just line of code. So enter code here. And there's also a block of code, um, which is pretty cool. So you you might have seen this before, but it's something that's um, rather nice as far as um, actually using this markdown stuff. Great. Well, uh, again, let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.